um, ever wondered why reporting to the board or relevant governance structure is crucial for any organisation. Well, let's delve into the reasons. Reporting is not just a routine task, it's the lifeblood of a successful organisation. It forms the foundation of decision-making, accountability and goal alignment. When we talk about decision-making, we're referring to the strategic choices that steer an organisation towards its objectives. These choices are not made on a whim, they're backed by accurate and timely reports that provide a clear picture of the organisation's operational activities. Imagine driving a car blindfolded. Sounds dangerous, right? Well, that's what running an organisation without proper reporting is like. It's like driving without any visibility of what's ahead. Reporting lifts this blindfold and illuminates the path to achieving business goals. It gives you a clear view of where you are, where you're headed and any obstacles that might be in your way. Accountability is another crucial aspect of reporting. It promotes transparency and trust within the organisation. When every department and individual knows that their performance is being monitored and reported, it instills a sense of responsibility. It encourages them to perform their best, knowing that their contributions directly affect the organization's overall success. Lastly, let's talk about goal alignment. Every organization has a mission and vision. However, these are not achieved overnight. It requires consistent efforts from every part of the organisation working in tandem towards the same goals. Reporting ensures that these efforts are aligned. It shows if the organisation is on track or if there's a need for course correction. In essence, reporting is like a compass for an organisation. It guides the way, ensures everyone is moving in the same direction and provides the necessary feedback for continuous improvement. It's not just a formality, it's a strategic necessity. So the next time you're drafting a report, remember its significance. Remember that your report could be the deciding factor in a major decision, the catalyst for performance improvement, or the beacon that guides your organisation towards its goals. Reporting to the board is not just a formality, but a strategic necessity. Um, remember Enron, once the seventh largest company in the US? It was an energy behemoth, a shining star of the business world. But in 2001, that star imploded spectacularly, marking one of the most infamous corporate collapses in history. The downfall of Enron is a case study in the catastrophic consequences of failing to accurately report operational activities to the board and stakeholders. Enron's tale begins with its meteoric rise. It was innovative, diversifying into new markets like energy trading and broadband services on fee. But behind this facade of success, the company was using complex and dubious accounting practices to hide debt and inflate profits. Um, these practices were not transparently reported to the board or the stakeholders, creating an illusion of a thriving enterprise. In reality, Enron was sinking in a quagmire of debt. The company was creating off-balance sheet entities, complex financial structures that allowed them to hide debt and create the illusion of cash flow. This was akin to sweeping dirt under the rug, and over time, that mound of debt became impossible to ignore. The repercussions were devastating. When the truth emerged, the company's stock plummeted from $90 to less than $1. Thousands of employees lost their jobs and their retirement savings. The fallout was so severe that it led to new regulations and legislation, including the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, to prevent such disasters in the future.
the lack of accurate reporting to the board was a critical factor in Enron's downfall. Without transparency and honesty, the board was in the dark about the company's true financial health. They were making decisions based on inaccurate information, uh, steering the company further into trouble. In addition to the board, Enron's stakeholders were also left in the dark. Shareholders, employees and creditors had placed their trust and in many cases their financial futures uh, in Enron's hands. They were led to believe that the company was financially robust and um, were blindsided when the truth emerged. Enron's fall is a stark reminder of the importance of accurate and transparent reporting. A company's board and its stakeholders need to know the true state of affairs to make informed decisions. Misleading them, as Enron did, can lead to a loss of trust and ultimately the company's demise. The tragedy of Enron is a lesson in the importance of honesty, transparency and accurate reporting. It shows us the catastrophic consequences of failing to keep the board and stakeholders informed about the company's operational activities, financial position and risks. Had Enron prioritised honest and regular reporting, it might have averted its catastrophic fate. The company could have worked to solve its financial problems rather than hiding them. It could have maintained the trust of its stakeholders rather than betraying it. But instead, it chose deception over transparency, leading to its downfall. Let's not forget this lesson as we strive to achieve our business goals. So how do we ensure effective reporting? Uh, well, the art of effective reporting lies in its key elements, which are uh, clarity, accuracy, timely delivery and relevance. Uh, let's delve deeper into each of these first clarity. Picture this. You're an artist and your report is your masterpiece. Uh, but instead of colours, your palette holds facts, figures and data. Now, how you blend these together to create a clear, understandable picture is the essence of effective reporting. Remember, your report should enlighten your audience, not confuse them. Next, accuracy. The credibility of your report hinges on the precision of the data you present. This isn't about creating a perfect picture, but an honest one. Um, whether the numbers are high or low, the truth is what matters most. An accurate report is like a mirror reflecting the true state of affairs without distortion. Then we have timely delivery. In a world where information is constantly evolving, delivering reports when they're most needed is crucial. Think of your report as a hot cup of coffee. Serve it fresh and it's a delight. Serve it cold and, well, we all know how that tastes. Timeliness ensures that your reports are relevant and actionable. Lastly, relevance. This is about understanding your audience and tailoring your report to their needs. Your report should answer the questions your audience has, not the ones you think they should have. It's like a compass guiding the board towards informed decisions. However, it's important to remember that effective reporting isn't a one-time event but an ongoing process. It's a dialogue that fosters understanding, builds trust and drives progress. It's about painting a picture with data, telling a story that influences decisions and ultimately shaping the future of the organization. And there you have it. The art of effective reporting is about more than just presenting facts and figures. It's about communicating information in a way that's clear, accurate, timely and relevant. Effective reporting is both an art and a science, requiring accuracy, timeliness and clear communication. 
from near bankruptcy to becoming a trillion dollar company, Apple Inc's journey is truly inspiring. The company's rise to the very pinnacle of the tech world is not just a tale of innovation and design, but also a testament to the power of effective reporting and informed decision making. In the late 90s, Apple was almost on the brink of bankruptcy. The company was losing money, market share, and most crucially, its direction. However, one crucial factor played a pivotal role in turning things around. The return of Steve Jobs. Jobs was not just a visionary leader, but also a master at effective communication and reporting. He understood the importance of keeping the board in the loop about the company's operational activities, strategies, and progress towards its goals. Jobs initiated a series of radical changes, including a significant shift in the company's product line and a renewed focus on design and simplicity. He reported his vision and strategies to the board with clarity and conviction, ensuring their buy-in. His regular and transparent reporting allowed the board to understand the company's direction, enabling them to make informed decisions and provide necessary guidance. This culture of effective reporting continued even after Jobs' departure. Tim Cook, who took over the reins in 2011, recognised the importance of clear and concise communication with the board. He regularly updated the board about the company's operations, including the development of new products like the Apple Watch and the iPhone X. These regular updates allowed the board to stay informed about the company's progress and make strategic decisions that helped Apple maintain its market dominance. Moreover, Apple's approach to reporting wasn't just about sharing facts and figures. The company also understood the importance of storytelling in their reports. They didn't just present data, they told a compelling story about the company's journey, its challenges and its triumphs. This narrative approach made the reports engaging and memorable, helping the board fully grasp the company's vision and strategy. Additionally, um, Apple's reporting strategy also involved a high degree of transparency. The company was open about its challenges and failures, as well as its successes. This openness fostered trust and collaboration between the board and the management, enabling them to work together towards the company's goals. In the end, Apple's rise from the ashes to become one of the most valuable companies in the world is not just about great products or brilliant marketing. It's also about the power of effective reporting in driving informed decision-making and strategic alignment. It's about the ability to communicate a vision, share a story and build a culture of transparency and collaboration. Apple's success story underlines the power of effective reporting in driving business growth. It's a powerful reminder that clear, concise and engaging reporting is not just a corporate obligation, but a strategic tool that can drive success and growth. Um, effective um, reporting is not just about delivering facts and figures. It's also an art form that combines the science of data with the finesse of relationship management. When conducted effectively, reporting can become a powerful tool for leaders to influence not just their immediate team, but also stakeholders across the organisation. Let's delve deeper into the role of reporting in managing relationships. Picture yourself in a room full of diverse stakeholders, each with their unique perspectives, expectations and 
interests. It's not just about presenting data. It's about telling a story that strikes a chord with each one of them. The right reporting approach can create a shared vision, fostering a sense of unity and collaboration across the board. Moreover, leaders can use reporting to influence both upwards and outwards. Upwards, to the board or senior management, reporting can be a tool to showcase progress, highlight challenges and propose solutions. It's not just about saying, here's what we've done, it's about saying, here's what we've learned and here's how we can do better. Outwards to external stakeholders like partners, customers or even the public. Reporting can build reputation and trust. It's about demonstrating accountability, transparency and commitment to shared values. It's about uh, showing that you're not just focused on the bottom line, but also on the broader impact of your actions. Now let's talk about negotiation. Reports are not just static documents, they're conversation starters. They provide a platform for discussion, debate and decision making. Leaders can use them to uh, negotiate resources, timelines or even strategic directions. They can advocate for their teams, their projects or their ideas using data as their ally. So remember, reporting isn't just a task to be checked off your to-do list. It's a leadership tool that can influence and steer the direction of an organisation, be it managing relationships, influencing decisions, uh, negotiating for resources or building reputation. Effective reporting can make all the difference. Uh, reporting is a leadership tool that can influence and steer the direction of an organisation. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned about reporting to the board. Reporting, as we've discovered, is not just a matter of duty or compliance, but a strategic tool that shapes the trajectory of an organisation. It's the compass that guides the board and the management providing them with the necessary insights to make informed decisions. We have emphasised the importance of reporting and its integral role in business operations. It's like the heartbeat of an organisation, pulsating with information that breathes life into the strategic planning and operational execution. It's this constant flow of data and insights that keeps the organization agile and responsive to the changing market dynamics. We delved into the art of effective reporting, highlighting the need for clarity, accuracy and relevancy. An effective report isn't just a collection of facts and figures, uh, it's a well-crafted narrative that tells a compelling story, highlights trends, identifies risks and uncovers opportunities. It's about painting a clear picture of the organization's health and its future prospects. The case studies of Enron and Apple provided us with starkly contrasting examples. Enron's downfall was a stark reminder of the catastrophic consequences of misleading reporting and governance failures. It demonstrated how a lack of transparency and accountability can lead to the erosion of trust and eventual collapse. On the other hand, Apple's rise showcased how effective reporting can drive innovation and growth. It demonstrated how clear, accurate and insightful reports can steer the organisation towards achieving its goals. It's a testament to the power of strategic reporting in shaping the destiny of an organisation. We also discussed how effective reporting plays a crucial role in leadership and stakeholder management. It's about steering the ship guiding it through turbulent waters and ensuring that everyone is on the same page. It's about building strong relationships with diverse stakeholders, influencing both upwards and outwards, 
and using advocacy skills to foster collaboration. Reporting is also about um, empowerment and delegation. By providing the board and the management with the right information, you're enabling them to make informed decisions and take the necessary actions. You're empowering them to steer the organisation towards its goals and objectives. In conclusion, reporting to the board isn't just a formality or a compliance requirement. It's a strategic function that shapes the direction of the organisation. It's about providing the board with the insights they need to make informed decisions. It's about telling a compelling story, influencing stakeholders, fostering collaboration and driving the organisation towards its goals. Remember, effective reporting is a cornerstone of a successful organisation. It's not just about the numbers, but about the story they tell and the impact they have on decision making and goal achievement.